Okay, friends, so we make a CRUD for permissions, the same for roles. Now let's work with uh, users. Let's add a link here and create a new user. So for that, uh, first I'm going to open the role index and I'm going to copy this one, the same we did for permissions, just to save some time. And let's op open the user index and replace the H1 with this div now in the h1 say users index page the title also i'm going to change to be users index page or just users index and here the link is going to be not roles create but the users create okay let's change also the role here to be new user good now if i go back and make sure you run the npm run dev here we have the new user now let's work with controller uh, also let's save this as a create page okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to open the register view we have this inside the pages out and here i'm going to select all and i'm going to copy that and open now the create page inside the users select all and paste that so we have a form now the route here is going to be not a register, but it's going to be users dot store. We have title to say register, but we need to change that to say uh, create user. Then we have a form here, and let's expand that with a name, email password and password confirmation then we have this link we don't need that and let's say create user or just create let's say create user now if you like i'm going to leave the password confirmation here just in case we forget and now that's it now let's open the controller so user controller and on the create first let's return a returned type to be inertia response and then let's return here let me just say here return inertia render and we are going to render that component we created inside the admin slash users slash create okay then for the store what i'm going to do i'm going to open the, the register user controller and here on the store i'm going to cut this one copy this one not cut copy and let's open the user controller and paste it out user controller is here so on the store now let's paste that in click ok let's import also the rules rules the hash copy that open the user controller and also import it here we have imported the hash just the rules and i think we are okay so we validate and then we don't need the user here we just say user create after we create the user we are going to return to the route 
users.index. Okay. And I think we are good. Other return type here to say redirect response and we are okay. Good. Let's go and see now. Here we have the new user. Click. Uh, yeah. We use here the Guest layout, but we need the admin layout. So let's open up the create inside the users. And yeah, here we have the quest layout. Let's first let's remove that quest and let's import the admin layout and let's replace now the quest layout with admin layout like this and just yeah, we have also here admin layout. Good. And now, as you can see. Uh, yeah, now let's add some uh, classes also this to this form. And I'm going to add here a tip with class to be max with MD MX auto. I'm going to add a margin top of uh, six, pattern of six, and let's say bg slate 100 let's cut this and paste it right here and now we have something like this okay now let's create a new user let's say test user test name test email dot com add the password and also password here and create a user. We are directed back and we have the user here. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.